I'm very interested in uh, learning uh, and digging the technology in the future as well because it's more human than human, I think. <laughs> Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. And I'm again joined by pioneer Eduardo Katz and artist Ho Jun Song. They create works that reach into outer space itself and show how we're part of a much wider continuum of life. So in your own experiences, how do you think of the future in relation to space and how space or space culture is shaping the art of the future? I'm interested in a condition in which there is no distinction. It can be a poem and a work of art simultaneously. And this is in a sense the first step to be making art in space. But I'm not talking about traditional arts, I'm talking about contemporary art in the sense that invents a new form and a new way of working, work that is conceived for space, developing, creating, contributing to the emergence of digital culture. So this is a very different story. I mean, I think all the artists wants to break the limits of our expressions or thinking, especially my project that has to do with the random and quiz incidents has also a lot to do with actually space. It is a time of the random. All the artificial intelligence, how do they train their artificial intelligence, are uh, all has to do with the Monte Carlo method, which is all about the high quality random. It's not about scary AI, but it's more about the, how we think different. So when this time comes, I'm keen to try to observe how our uh, philosophy will change rather than the technology from this perspective. I've wondered in the last 10 years, especially so much art practice um, in a technological space is about critique. Do you feel optimistic about the technological futures ahead? The general tendency we see in society is that technologies are usually created to solve a problem and they end up generating a problem. But technology does not exist in a vacuum. Uh, of course, it is at the service of uh, ideologies that propel economies, etc. The way we look at the world is what really drives the way we do things in the world. And technology then is, is a key instrument, but it's not the beginning or the end. I also totally agree with Eduardo that technology can actually change everything or in a, in a bright way. I think the more we're talking about space, the more we're talking about quantum mechanics and all those unknowns at this coexisting world. So I think we are living on this era. Hojin and Eduardo, thank you so much. It's been like a huge pleasure to speak to you both. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yes, thank you. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.